Hello everyone, this is the fifth video under the topic of communication between components. Today we're going to talk about event callback. Event callbacks are for communication between parent and child components. And uh, it's when the child components has something interesting happens, um, then it basically calls their parents and say, uh, hey parent, I have something interesting happen please react to it. Let's take the counter component as example. Let's run the default application. Uh, go to counter components, click on, I click me, then it incre increases the value. And uh, if we change it a little bit uh, so that the counter component because becomes a sub component, uh, then we can demonstrate the event callback. So, uh, let's create another component. Let's call it uh, parent component. And let this parent component to use the same uh, route. Of course, we have to remove this route. So we can make the counter component itself becomes a sub component because it becomes a child component of this parent component and uh, we use it like this and if we run this code refresh right here it's basically gonna do the same thing except uh, you're gonna see uh, a title here is parent component because now the content component becomes a sub component because becomes a child component and it will work the same way but what if we want this current count to be displayed um, inside the parent component instead of under the count counter component itself? Uh, so for that, we can remove this, we remove this, and then we come over to the parent component and we declare a variable here and uh, we call it you know, private integer uh, you know, current count. Okay, so and then go back to counter component, and <clears throat> and then here we declare a public property. Okay, and we have to make sure that the it, it's an event callback, right? And with a parameter, and the parameter value is uh, parameter type is integer, and we call this set current count, and this has to be a parameter. And then we are going to invoke this set current count under the event handler of the increment count, right? So basically we're gonna say invoke async and it's current count. Then we're gonna come over here and refresh the screen. And then uh, of course we didn't do, we didn't hook it up yet, but let's try that. Okay. And we are not seeing any exceptions. So keep that in mind. Uh, then we'll come back and talk about that. So in order to implement this, we need to go back to the parent component. And then we're basically come on over here and set the parameter, the set current count as a, basically you can just say set current count. And then in here, we're gonna have this set current count with integer uh, value and then we are going to say current count equals value and what we're going to do is we're going to display we're going to display this current count right here so current count current count then we're going back over here Refresh. All right, so current count initial is 
zero, your true value is zero, and then we click on it. Now it works. All right, so coming back and just to summarize that. So first of all, you need to do is that you need to create a parameter that has a special return value, which is a event callback. This type is event callback. There's two versions of this. This first version is without the generic type. The second version is with the generic type. Depends on whether you want to pass a parameter to it or not. So this is basically the parameter type of this set current count. Right? So when you invoke it, this current count parameter has to be this type, integer type in this case. The second step, so once you declare the parameter like this, then you go to your parent account, and then you basically set the parameter just as any other um, parameters, except that this is a function name instead of just a value. Right? It corresponds to this. You can call it any function name. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the same as the parameter name. and uh, if we refresh the screen, you're going to see it's going to work uh, anyways. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Right. So those are the two things, uh, it's two basic things we need to know about it. Uh, and then we just dig a little bit deeper into this event callback. So the event callback is not just any parameter. It has a special type. And this makes us kind of think that it's similar to a delegate in C sharp, right? But it is very similar uh, to a delegate, but it's not exactly the same as a delegate. For example, you don't have to, when you invoke it, you don't have to uh, test whether it's uh, empty or not, uh, right? It's not going to throw an exception if it's empty, right? We have seen that. So let's try that again. If we remove this, which means that we are not actually uh, providing any registration to that delegate, uh, if we call it delegate. It's not even a delegate, but we refresh this. It's not throwing any exceptions, right? It just doesn't work anymore, right? So let's put that back. So coming back over here. So it's not a delegate that you have to check the whether it's registered or not. You can just directly invoke it and it's going to work. Secondly, um, it's different from a delegate because we can actually declare a delegate right now. Right? So we can declare a delegate uh, like this. And uh, we, basically, we can do the same thing. We can simulate this uh, with you know, set count, let's call this set count. And then over here, we can declare this as a, a parameter as well. And then when we go to the parent component, we can, um, we can give that delegate assigned to the same function, right? And then if we remove this, and then we'll go to the counter component and instead of calling this, we just call set count dot invoke. Uh, we pass in the, the current count, right? Let's see how, whether it works or not. Okay. If it works, then there's no difference between a delegate and event callback. You see, there's, it doesn't work. I'm clicking on the click me button, but it doesn't work. Why? Because your parent component, you're basically triggering this event from a child component and expecting your parent component to, to re-render, right? But it doesn't re-render. Um, the value is set, but it doesn't re-render. Re -render. And the reason is that your component does not render uh, if the event is triggered from, from other components. Uh, learn as you specifically say that you want to re-render it. But if we are using a event callback, 
then the whoever whichever function that is connected or assigned to that event callback your parent component is going to watch that and once that function is called it's going to re-render the component but in order to make this work we have to uh, say a hey, state has changed right because this function is currently assigned to the set count delegate and the set count delegate when the set count delegate invokes this function is not going to trigger a render and unless we are specifically saying that we know the state has changed and go ahead to re-render and now let's see what what happens right so now it works so that's why it's different and another thing that we, we can try is that if we remove this and see what happens if we remove this and then we click on it immediately when to see and handout exception has occurred see the browser dev tools for details why let's see the browser the browser tools and then at the bottom the console actually let's look at the console here uh, it says no reference why let's go back and take a look at our child component where we invoking the delegate without having the delegate reassigned to a actual uh, function right so there's no um, there's no registration to that delegate so we can just invoke like this but for event callback we're okay we can just call it whether there is a um, whether there is a registration to this event callback or not right so going back here and uh, set current count equals uh, well if we don't set anything refresh again right it doesn't work but it doesn't cause any problems so that's uh, that's the difference all right, that's everything for today. If you like my videos, please give it a like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be notified with uh, future videos. Uh, I'm going to complete lots of videos uh, in the near future for the Blazor series. And after that, I'm going to have an uh, interesting series as well. Thank you very much for watching.